We're so pleased to have you here, Sir Richard. Lady Grant's welcome. Thank you. I hope the train wasn't too tiring. Hello, Mary. I'm not a bit, no. I got a lot done. Hello, Aunt Rosamond. Brother, dear. How are you? It's lovely to see you, Rosamond. He's nice, isn't he? To be honest, he spent the entire journey reading his own papers. But I'm sure I'll love him dearly if he'll ever look up from the page. The fashion for cocktails before dinner hasn't reached Yorkshire. I could get Carson to make you one, but I won't guarantee the result. Of course. Mrs. Crawley, Captain Crawley, and Miss Swan. Ah, Isabel. Well now, still in one piece. Thank God. Touch wood. I never stopped touching it. Do you know Sir Richard Carlyle? My cousin, Captain Crawley. How do you do? And his fiancée, Miss Swire. I know Miss Swire. Her uncle and I are old friends. Well, old acquaintances, anyway. What do you think Mary sees in him? Besides the money, you mean? It must be more than that. For you. Not necessarily for her. What's General Strutt like? Well, you know, rather important. And brave, who got the DSO in South Africa. Is there any chance it might be permanent, that we can count you out of danger? It would be such a relief. I wouldn't want that, I'm afraid. He's promised to get me back to France when he's done with me. How's your new appointment with the North Ridings working out? Oh, that. It seems I won't be going to the front after all. I made a mistake. They only wanted a mascot. Mary tells me you're in newspapers. Well, I own a few. Oh, that must be quite a responsibility at a time like this, you know, in a war. When it's so important to keep people's spirits up. Lady Grantham, my responsibility is to my investors. I need to keep my readership up. I leave the public spirits to government propaganda. So now you've met Granny. I warn you, she has very strong opinions. Oh, you need have no fear where that's concerned, my dear. We're more than evenly matched. I gather your footman, Thomas, has returned to the village. Mm -hmm. Crikey. Where did you see him? At the hospital. Seems he's working there. I wonder how he wangled that. <laughs> Behind me. Not as well as I should. <laughs> what do you make of our plutocrat? He's an opportunity. Mary needs a position, and preferably a powerful one. He can provide it. You don't think she'd be happier with a more traditional setup? Will she have the option? Thank you, but I already have some. <laughs> Give that to me. <laughs> I, I do apologize, my lady. I get, Mr. Lang, get a cl Carson! Carson, what's the matter? No, Carson, it's all right. Everything will be fine. Edith, go with Branson and fetch Major Clarkson. I'll telephone and explain what's happened. What about my dress? Edith, we'll get you a coat. Come. Sybil will know what to do until the doctor comes. You'll find there's never a dull moment in this house. Lady Sybil and I will take him upstairs, Mrs. Hughes. Can we stop for a minute? Don't tell me you're tired. I'm not tired, I'm hot. This tweed is too thick. It looks more suited to shooting than walking. I had it made for the weekend. I didn't know there was a difference. It doesn't matter. That's like the rich who say that money doesn't matter. It matters enough when you haven't got it. I know you don't care about our silly rules. You're always very clear on that score. You make me sound rude, and I hope I'm not that. I mean to learn how to do things properly, and I'm sure you could help me a lot. But I'm not ashamed of being what they call a self-made man. I'm proud of it. Is the point of all this to test me in some way? Maybe. Are you shocked by my bold and modern values? Oh, Sir Richard, you flatter yourself. It takes a good deal more than that to shock me. How dare you threaten me? How dare I? Oh, I assure you I dare a great deal more than that. But you can't. You wouldn't. I didn't say I would. I was merely reminding you it was in my power. Lady Painswing. The Lady Rosamond. 
I'm sorry, I'll get these things sorted out before too long. It's not important. Miss Swire and I were just talking about old times. Happy old times, I hope. Will you forgive me? I want to write some letters before dinner. Sir Richard, you don't have Richard, to... Richard, please. You see, I want you to marry me. Why? Because I think very highly of you. Very highly? Goodness. I mean it. I think we do well together. We could be a good team. Now that sounds better. But I can't help thinking that tradition demands... A little mention of love. Oh, I can talk about love and moon and June and all the rest of it if you wish. But we're more than that. We're strong and sharp. And we can build something worth having you and I, if you'll let us. Your proposal is improving by leaps and bounds. You must give me some time. But I promise to think about it properly. I'm counting on it. Thank mm -hmm. you.